It's the most wonderful time of the year and the IL Cares Foundation is doing their part in the community to make people of all ages feel appreciated. Their first stop, Freeport, Grand Bahama. You know, there's a good thousand people here and um, we like to see the smile on the kids' face and everybody's going to leave here with a good time. Uh, Good food and a gift to put under that Christmas tree. That's company CEO His Excellency Sebastian Bastian on the sidelines of the foundation's Kids Carnival on Saturday that saw children and parents from across the nation's second city line up in anticipation of food, drinks, fun, and of course, the gifts. It's an event that many echo can bring hope back to Grand Bahama for which they are grateful. You see that Island Luck cares about Grand Bahama in this, in this season. Uh, Oh, after the storm, the COVID, now we look forward to celebrating in, in the right way. So something like this, I'm happy to bring the kids out to enjoy themselves because there's nothing much to do. And for the hundreds of children in attendance, what exactly was their favorite part? The pizza. I like the presents and the music, the bouncy castles and everything. Yeah. The party is nice. I like the gift what they provide for us and the food and the bouncing castles. It's nice. It's a response to the hard work from the Island Luck team that company COO Adriana Fox welcomes. What's like giving a kid a gift to see that smile on their face and, you know, they want to pick what type of pizza they want. And, you know, after the exams, it's time to relax. So ILKs want to show the Grand Bahamians that um, ILKs are here for you. Now let's talk gifts. It's good. It's Boston. Because I get one scooter. I like it. And when I go home, I'll play, play Jumanji. Uh, I watch the movie, but I know what the game is. I think it's a troll. A troll. A troll. I want to do one. And I want a, a, a baby doll. Whether they got what they wanted or not, the smiles on their faces were priceless, says Fox. And after their gifts, they were able to enjoy bunks and castles that were provided by Nesbitt's Rentals. We have a large team here at Nesbitt Rentals. We do the tent rental tables barricades and the amusement, the bouncy castle and stuff. We usually start like a day before to have everything in place for today. So we all come together and we get the job done. And Fox adds that this won't be the last of this event and notes that the foundation has plans to make things bigger and better in the near future. And presently right now, I think we're touching the grounds of Andrus, Abaco, um, Exuma. So we're trying to spread our wings more on the family islands as much as we can. Um, so I hope they feel appreciative as well. Next up for the Isle Cares Foundation is the capital for its annual Kids Carnival, 1 to 5 p.m. on Saturday, December 17th on Clifford Park. Devontae Hanna, Eyewitness News.